If a quadratic needs to be expressed in this form, what you're essentially doing is completing the square. So the first thing you need to do is factorize the coefficient of x squared from the first and second term. You don't need to worry about the third one. So that gives us x squared minus 6x. We're going to leave the 23 on the outside. And then we want to complete the square on this part here. So keep your square brackets in. What you do is half the coefficient of x, close the bracket and add a square on the outside. And then you are going to square this term and subtract it regardless if it's positive or negative. Okay, and then we expand and simplify. So we're going to do 2 times this bracket and 2 times that. That's minus 18 plus 23, 5. And then we want to show that the equation has no real roots. So for an a quadratic to have real roots, it must intersect your x-axis and therefore be less than 0. But we can see here that anything squared is greater than 0 and adding a 5 is also greater than 0. So your entire quadratic is above the x-axis and so it has no real roots, you can conclude on that how you want to. And now we're given that 2x squared minus 12x plus k has repeated roots, and if that's the case, your discriminant is equal to 0. Your a is your coefficient of x squared, your b is your coefficient of x, and your c is your constant. So let's whack that all in. b squared is minus 12 squared minus 4 times your 2 times your k. That's equal to 0. 144 minus 8k equals 0 k is equal to 18.